excited to be here with you guys we are in our month of February where we're talking about uh, the big sandbox and how we're learning that Jesus loves us so who loves you Jesus loves me yay Jesus loves us and last week we learned that you know what Jesus does indeed love us and when um, some people wanted to shoo away the children Jesus said nope he welcome him welcome them in with open arms so so cool and today we have an even cooler story so today um we our story is about two young ladies um who are really good friends with jesus and their names are mary and martha now i know that this is kind of difficult with covid and maybe some of you have been able to during covid which is awesome but if you have not sad day it's okay we're gonna get back there but how many of you guys like to have friends over how many of you guys have had some friends over? Awesome. Now, when friends come over, what do you guys do with them? Okay, play with them. Maybe have lunch, maybe have dinner. Um, maybe play some games, maybe do some coloring. All kinds of fun things. Now, when you have friends that come over, does your mom or dad make you clean everything? I know my mom and dad did that when I have friends come over, I make sure everything is cleaned. So Mary and Martha were really good friends with Jesus and Jesus was coming over to their house and they were so excited. They were like, oh my goodness, we have so many things that we have to get done. So Mary and Martha started to clean. Well, in that process, Jesus shows up and Mary is excited. Static. She's so excited that she she abandons her cleaning duties and she just goes and she spends time with Jesus and she gets super excited and she listens to all that Jesus has to say and she just sits and and just is with Jesus. Now Martha was like, I have to make sure everything's clean. So she's cleaning the house, she's making the food, and then she's getting really irritated because her sister is not doing anything. So now she's all upset because her sister's not doing anything and she's like, oh, this is annoying. I'm sitting here doing all the work and she's not doing anything. And so finally she comes in and she looks at Jesus and she goes, Jesus, 
Tell Mary to come and help me clean because that's what we're supposed to do. And Jesus just looks at Martha and says, you know what? It's okay. You can go ahead and leave that. Mary is doing what she is supposed to. And you should come and sit with me. And you want to sit and learn. And so it took a few moments. But Martha was like, okay. So she came and she sat and she got to spend time with Jesus. And the amazing thing is it shows us that Jesus loves us no matter what. He doesn't care um, if everything's done all right when he's there, but he just wants us, he just wants to spend time with us. He wants to make sure that we're okay, and he wants to just love on us where we're at. Things may be messy, things may be crazy, and absolutely just wah. But Jesus says, you know what? Despite all that, I just want to sit and I want to be with you, just like he did with Mary. And Mary knew that. She's like, you know what? Jesus is here and all of the other things can wait. It's Jesus time. And finally, after a little bit of talking with Martha, she finally realized that, you know what? It is okay to let things go because we want to sit and we want to be with Jesus. And it shows us that Jesus loves us. So who loves you? Jesus loves you. All right, my friends, that is all the time we have for today. Remember that Jesus loves you very much, as do I. And I will see you guys all again next week. Let's see what Ollie and his friends are up to. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. to the clubhouse. Explore Poppy here and I'm so glad you can join me on this big adventure today. I'm searching all over the sandy desert for buried treasure. Psst. It's just me, Poppy. I'm loving the new sandbox so much that I'm pretending it's a big desert and I'm searching for buried treasure. This is gonna be so much fun. Yes, yes, I found just the place. This is where we need to dig for the buried treasure. Poppy, Grandma's here. She really wants to spend some time with you. Hurry home, Poppy. Oh, wow. I completely forgot that Grandma was coming over today. Whenever she visits, she loves for me to play her favorite game with her, Go Fish. But I really don't want to stop playing in the new sandbox yet. What should I do? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hi there, Poppy. Who? Who? Playing Explorer, are you? Hey, Ollie. Yep, I sure am. I'm having so much fun playing in the new sandbox. The problem is, my grandma's coming over to visit, and I don't want to stop playing in the sandbox yet. Ollie, what should I do? Trying to figure out what to do? I have the perfect story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at all of these letters I have today. Friends on a trip, birthday cards. Oh, and this one is a get well soon card from one sister to another. Oh, that reminds me of today's story. Are you ready for it? Great, I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Okay. So today's true story from the Bible happens at a house like this. Two sisters lived there, Mary and Martha, and they were friends with Jesus. One day they heard Jesus was coming to visit them at their house.
they were so excited, and Martha ran off to get everything ready. Do you like to have friends over at your house? Me too! What do you like to play? Uh, raise your hand if you like to color with your friends. Oh, that's so exciting! Raise your hand if you like to eat snacks with your friends. Mmm, yummy snacks! Raise your hand if you like to play outside with your friends. <laughs> That's so great. It's so good to spend time with friends. As soon as Jesus got to Mary and Martha's house, Mary sat right down at his feet. She wanted to hear everything Jesus had to say. Her friend Jesus was here, and she didn't want to miss anything. But Martha... Wait, has anyone seen Martha? There she is! Oh! Now she's gone! Martha was very busy. She was here! She was there! She was cooking and cleaning! She was trying to make everything perfect because she loved Jesus so much. And finally, she went to Jesus and said, Make my sister help me! I'm doing all the work! But Jesus told Martha, that spending time with him is the best thing to do. She didn't need to be worried about the cooking and the cleaning. He just wanted to spend time with her. That's the kind of friend Jesus is. He doesn't need everything to be just right. He loves us no matter what, and he wants to spend time with you, 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 and you. So we should talk to him and dance and sing songs to him and take walks and thank him for all of the things he's made because Jesus loves spending time with us and wants to be our friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus wanted to spend time with Mary and Martha. And he wants to spend time with you, too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story! Martha was so busy with what she was doing, but Mary stopped to spend time with Jesus. Jesus wanted to spend time with both of them, and he wants to spend time with me and you. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it! Get it? Got it! Good! I know what I need to do. I should go spend time with my grandma. Hey! I just got a great idea. Maybe I can read her this story from my Bible so I can spend time with her and Jesus too. She'll love that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17.